In this video, I'm going to talk about how text is managed inside GraphPad. In GraphPad, there's really two types of text. There's text that's associated with a form, and there's text that's free text that you can actually put in for comments, etc. The form text, if you go into text mode, will appear as blue fields, and when you press your finger inside that field, the keyboard will pop up, and you can either type the value in, or use Siri, W157, to calculate the value for you. <clears throat> Once you've entered the text, however, it's very important you hit the return, which will actually process what's sitting in the, the field and tab you to the next field in any list of tab fields. So you could actually just go through, again, use Siri, 24 West Avenue D, And you can see how well Siri actually does in terms of capturing uh, voice recognition. Now, in addition to that, you have free text. So in free text mode, you would just touch the screen and drag. And this is going to, again, create a light blue area and let the keyboard pop up for you. And then you could type the value in or, again, ask Siri to uh, process it for you. This is a test of Siri and how well it works. Again, it's very important you hit, in this case, free text, you hit the closed keyboard, which will then process it. Inside a free format text field, you can have returns, which you can't have in a static text field. So we close the keyboard, and that will actually process it. <clears throat> At this point, you can move the text field to wherever you want. You'll notice that it turns blue again. Um, if you press inside of it, you can now edit that text. Take, for example, out these uh, return characters, hit in a period, and again, free text, you hit the close keyboard to actually process it. Now, <clears throat> you can have multiple text areas, and we're going to use the copy-paste capability to capture this one piece of text. So I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste it in a few locations. And what you can do is you can go into text mode. Actually, we'll start by creating a selection area. And we can select this group of text items. And now when I go into text, we'll notice that selection area doesn't go away. And we have the ability to manipulate each one of these um, as a group. So we can align left, for example, and it's going to automatically align left. We could change the font, go back into text mode, change the font of all these text areas. And we'll actually increase that to 45. But see how I lost my selection area. We need to create our selection area, grab our text. You can see the handles highlighted. And now when we actually change it to 45, it'll change those. Obviously, that's too big. We'll change that back again. And actually, we'll knock it down to 15, make it a little finer. You could also, likewise, change the um, <clears throat> alignment and also the color or the font. There's one other bit of text that is of interest, and that's inside of a table. Um, you can actually move the table. You'll notice there's a handle so you can move the table. But again, you can actually zoom in, and you can actually change the contents of the table. So say, for example, you had a summary table, and you wanted to put in the um, cost per unit. You could just touch inside the highlighted field and change the value inside of it. So for example, this was a two foot by four foot concrete section. In a table, you can also add an extra row, <clears throat> which will actually, and actually that, and then you touch inside it and type in your value. Sorry, again, in this case, you'd hit return, etc. Or you could actually delete that row. And again, you can only do that in the text mode. 